The 2014 U.S. midterm elections will determine whether or not the Democrats are able to hold on to a Senate majority. But does it really matter if the Senate flips? Washington politics could well remain at an impasse regardless of the result. While to an extent the Constitution forces consensus, it only works when there is compromise. During President Obama's administration, the system has become dysfunctional. Some people dislike his foreign policy. They think he was indecisive. He should have moved rapidly on some of these issues in the Middle East. Uh, they just think he's wishy-washy, and um, they, they don't think he fits their image of what the president ought to be doing. The outgoing Congress is the least productive in modern American history. Critics say the Republicans have drifted to extreme positions, with some even using their majority in the House to block any of Obama's initiatives. The public is frustrated. Would have been elected and there is no expression of the voters. The voters just say, eh. <laughs> We don't like the way things are going, but they don't have any ideas of uh, how to do it. And they disagree amongst themselves, Democrats and Republicans. So there's no mandate. There's no lesson. There's no reason to change. And there's no obvious proposal that would garner Republican support. Obama's approval ratings hover at around 40 percent, while Congresses are even worse at just 10 percent. Having a Democratic Senate would be a good thing, but it wouldn't uh, increase the prospects of him getting an immigration bill uh, through, of, of him getting a major infrastructure investment. He will have to rely on on his authority as president to act uh, through executive orders and administrative regulations. Ironically, the public will re-elect most members of Congress. This is due largely to the way voting districts are drawn and redrawn. Among the 435 House seats, only 20 to 30 could change hands. Our correspondent sent this report from Washington. Bottom line. Don't expect much of the next Congress. Things will likely get worse, as the 2016 presidential campaign has already begun to suck oxygen out of the political arena. Stefan Grober, Euronews, Washington.